Ahoy my hearties, and wild-grown batter creases. It's me here, what is called Gary Poundland. That's spelled get out right, yeah? Get out right. And Poundland is spelled put up with nutter. L-I-M-D, as I say, like the shop, but not about the say. I'm here in Wolverhampton, my hometown, to give you a bit of a look around at some of the memorable delightful things we have on offer. Now look at this. Check out them fucking bad boys, are you? Huh? Look at the size of the bollocks on him! <laughs> oh, Kimmo! Now, a very interesting fact about horses, like this little beauty of a stallion, is that horses can actually produce two and a half litres of Harris Bunk every time they ejaculate all over the shop. Now, just imagine that. Two and a half litres of Harris Bunk, the purest, finest Harris Bunk, all over your fucking camel choice. <laughs> now, a lot of people would love that, but not me, as I'm not a dirty bastard. Hey, come on, gang, let's go and have a look at what else we've got to see. Wolverhampton Art Gallery, home of, to some of Wolverhampton's most finest and oldest pieces of art. Personally, I think art is overrated and a lot of old shit. But if you want to see some alpine teams, crap alpine teams, and fat old birds with a mockers hanging about, this is the place for you. <laughs> the Prince Albert, a pub named after a piercing through the bell end, obviously. But not only that, this was also a place where the guy community of Wolverhampton would meet up and have a drink and have a dance, etc, etc. But an interesting thing about that, Every other week, Wolverhampton's toughest hooligans would meet up here for a drink and to socialise and to kick the fuck out of innocent people as they walk past from the train station. Talk about inclusivity, eh? And no mistake. <laughs> Molyneux, home of my team, the mighty Wolverhampton Wanderers. Such history. Recent years, we played European football. We beat our FA Cup semi-final under Mumo and finished seventh in two consecutive Premier League seasons. But things haven't always been some shine and roses down here at the Wolves. For example, there was absolute embarrassment and anger in 2006 on scenes witnessed inside that famous old football stadium. As Bon John Barvey took to the stage and played the fucking gig of his crappy music. Huh? Leave him on a prayer. More like living on a kiss my ring piece, more like Jesus well. <laughs> and a lot of people say Wolverhampton is dead. <laughs> well you can fuck off. Lack of investment, fuck him arseholes. Anyway, you find me here outside Chicago Rock Cafe. Wolverhampton's premier nightlife number one destination. Or as I like to call it, the fucking meat market. Jesus web. But either way, whether you're looking to dance the night away, have a few beverages, do a bit of socialising, maybe find love, or whether you're just hoping to partake in a cheeky fucking finger blasty on the dance floor during the Grease Mega Mix, Chicago Rock Cafe is certainly the place for you. Wolf Civic. Currently, as you can tell, under development. Now, over the years, some of the biggest names in music history have played in this place, from Bob Marley to the, the Stone Roses to Oasis to James Arthur, etc., etc. Anyway, interesting fact about the Wolf Seek Vic Neil Morrissey played his first solo gig here when we split it up with Martin Clunes. Yeah, absolutely true. And all you had to do, you didn't have it to pay for a ticket, all you had him to do was turn up and show Neil Morrissey a picture of your Todger to get him. Absolute top notch fantastic. We can't wait for it to reopen. Come on! You find me here outside the Chubbsies building, aka the Lighthouse. Well, this is where we did our very first sellout show a few years back. Now, we didn't know what we were doing. We were worried we were not very professional. So we got two of the country's best Commodore MCs, Dan Mightingale and Alex Boardman, to MC for us. But soon enough it came apparent. They came up to us and said, you don't need us to MC this for you. This is punk rock, man. So from the Lighthouse, 200 seats, the Wolverhampton Grand Theatre, 1200, and Neil Assault out, get him quick. 
Jesus, well, look at the place, such history. Charlotte Chaplin, aka the smell of Trump, made his first stage debut here. <laughs> Fair play, look what he went on to. Fair play to him, you know what I mean? The fucking Kevin Webster mustachio face cunt. <laughs> but I'm a serious now, I just want to say thank you very much, everybody, for supporting us. I love you very, very much. You've always been there to back us up. God bless you. Wolves, I mean.